Kill it? No, I'm a pro. I kill him every time. Oh wow, yes. okay. Hold on. I'm gonna listen to us talking about it and it's staring at us right now and he's like, I'm just gonna fucking jump off the wall and eat you guys. I have to wait for like the perfect moment. Brigade. It's actually incredibly quiet in here today, which is weird. It's Karen's first time here, and her and I never work out together. Come here! It's her first time! I'm so excited. <laughs> so we're gonna do some deadlifts today, and then we're gonna do some other leg workout. So I guess you can call this a Karen Amanda leg workout collab. Yeah. Collabing with my roommate. We've done it once before. Remember a couple when, uh... times. I'm excited. Karen's gonna learn how to deadlift, so we're gonna get to it. Pumped, but first to take some pre-workout. Ah. What? You can just do this. Karen's elastic broke. Do you guys call it a hair elastic, a ponytail, or a hair tie? Comment below. I call it an elastic. What do you call it? Hair tie. Call it an elastic. work. <laughs> The knees out cue helps you. Knees out, that was much better, much better. That was so much better. Breathe, there you go. Take that deep breath in. How are you feeling with your 
first ever single. So good, I'm so happy. I'm so proud I'm so of you. I just wanna get like really strong now. <laughs> Isn't that addicting? Yes. I wanna get my form down first and yeah. then get strong. Your form is much but, improved from like yeah. your first set to your third it set. Good. Yeah. It's good, it's good. Some lettuce, roasted turkey, mushroom, honey mustard. I think that's it. I think that's all I put in here. Yeah. Oh, and a piece of bacon. <laughs> we are also taking a scoop of peanut butter out of the jar. This is the only way to eat peanut butter. Comment below if this is the only good way to eat peanut butter. Right out of the spoon. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Satisfaction level is 100. Workout is complete, lunch is complete, and now I am hopefully going to get a new iPhone 7. I'm at the Verizon store right now. Um, yeah, I know I could have ordered it, but I just like want to get it now. But yeah, essentially my phone has just been like super annoying me lately. It's not that it's that big of a deal, but everything is kind of like glitching. I'm, I am a firm believer that they make phones to only last you like a year until like the next one comes out in order for you to like buy that one because it's, it's just been getting like super glitchy lately so we're gonna see if we can get the new one. Lesson learned, never do anything unless you call first. So I just drove all the way here and they don't have any in stock and now I'm on hold with the Apple store. See if they have any. Um, was there a particular storage amount that you were looking for or a particular color? Um, if you had the highest storage amount, um, the color doesn't matter too much. I mean, okay. what do you what do you have? car so I got a, a little bit I have done a lot of froyo tracking in my days mac macro tracking um, so I'm gonna go ahead and estimate that this is about 50 grams of carbs and like 12 13 grams of fat or so, so eating this so if there's one thing that I think I personally struggle with the most it's not being aware of like 
my strengths and weaknesses throughout the day and like figuring out what those weaknesses are and turning them into strengths. In order to like kind of help yourself throughout the day, making a list of like your bad habits and your good habits and then writing them down and then working on them for the next day is something that's really gonna help you kind of like change the way that you live your life. Because sometimes you don't even focus on it and sometimes you just go about your day and then you have a bad day and you don't really know why. You don't really take the time to stop and think about it. And for me personally, I've been told to do it like right in the morning when I wake up, but that's something that I kind of struggle with. So what I've been doing is taking my journal, um, I have a journal that I write in, and I've been taking it at night before I go to bed. It helps me a little bit more because I'm like kind of winding down for the night. Um, and then write down like how I did that day. So like what are my weaknesses for that day and what are my strengths for that day. A list of, a list of things that you can write down for your weaknesses, beating yourself up, being ungrateful, failing to acknowledge positive things in your life, being overly judgmental towards other people or towards yourself, disrespecting others, staying in unfulfilling relationships, eating poorly, not exercising regularly, keeping a messy living space, I'm guilty of that one, swearing often, staying up late often, sleeping in often, cheating on homework tests or work or something like that, reactionary behavior towards yourself and for others. For me, reactionary behavior towards myself is a big one. Like I get overly stressed out about things and then I just get angry at myself for no reason. So that's like one of the things that I wrote down for myself. You should write down your weaknesses first and then focus on your strengths so you can end on like a positive note. By focusing on your strengths at the end of the little journal entry, it kind of helps you end on a positive note. So some things you can write about yourself because I think finding things to write positive about yourself is probably like the number one hardest thing for people to do because we usually just tend to think about all the negative things. We never, 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 never focus on the positive. So some things you guys can write down is that you get plenty of sleep if you do, um, you exercise regularly, you smile often, you take care of your own body, whether that be personal hygiene, exercise, nutrition, you work out several times a week, you can, you're eating consciously right now, you're expressing gratitude towards others, you're expressing gratitude towards yourself, you're doing a, a good deed for the day, going above and beyond for yourself and for other people, tracking your progress, laughing often, taking time for yourself, giving to others and calling the people that you love. That's like something that I wanna write down for my list too, and calling the people that I love just to remind them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying a Vlogmas uploads. Um, this is my second video for the day, so I'm just trying to get caught up on footage. So oh, I'll catch you guys in the next video and have a good rest of your day.